Hi guys, Ben here from Movement Enhanced. Today we're going to be talking about the clean grip deadlift. So the clean grip deadlift is one of the key compound exercises we use to develop strength. The exercise is great for training the muscles of the posterior chain, particularly the hamstrings, glutes, lower back, lats, and grip. Now, while this exercise has many benefits, the technique required to perform the exercise correctly is quite complex. Today, we're gonna to focus on some of the key points in performing the clean grip deadlift correctly. Today, we'll focus on the stance, the grip, the start position, the intent when lifting, along with a lockout at the top of the movement. In terms of stance position, when we walk up to the barbell, we wanna take what we call a jump stance. Now, while this will vary person to person, it's gonna be slightly out of, outside of hip distance apart. This is the optimal stance because it allows us to produce the most power when pushing through the floor. The grip used to perform the clean grip deadlift is the hook grip. The reason we use this over the double overhand grip is that it allows us to tolerate greater loads and not let the barbell roll out of the hands. To set up with the hook grip, we wanna place the thumb underneath the index and middle finger and secure a nice set, solid grip on the barbell. To get into the correct start position, it is important to take the slack out of the bar and wedge your hips in close to the barbell. In this position, we're looking for eyes forward on the horizon and the thoracic or upper back extended in this position. In this position, it is crucial we take the slack out of the barbell by bringing the shoulder blades into the back pockets. The muscles responsible for doing this are the lats and they're the super important part in creating a rigid torso as we perform the movement. One of the common cues we use when performing the lift is to push, not pull. What this means is we wanna try and leg press the floor away while maintaining the tension throughout the system to prevent any flexion or movement through the spine. During the first portion of the lift, it is essential that we maintain the same trunk angle as we move towards the knee. What we are looking for is the knees and the hips opening at the same rate. In order to complete the movement, we wanna snap the hips towards the barbell and squeeze the glutes and abs. What we are looking for in the lockout position is a straight line through the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder blades. Once you've completed the lockout of the deadlift, it is important to lower the weight with control back down to the floor. The lowering phase also provides a great training effect, so we must not forget about the importance of this part of the movement. Our preferred method of performing the deadlift is resetting at the bottom each time. We treat multiple reps like individual reps with maximum intent on the setup and tension before we lift the barbell. In summary, these are some of the key points to performing the clean grip deadlift correctly. The areas we covered were stance, grip, start position, tension in the system, and the lockout of the deadlift. In doing these things correctly, you're gonna allow for optimal progress and make sure you stay injury-free with your training.